Hi, thanks for watching today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, correctly line up an image in different layers within um, Cricut's Design Space app. Um, <clears throat> well, first, obviously, you want to have Design Space, which I'm sure you already have if you have a Cricut Air, um, Explore, um, or any newer Cricut. Um, system. So what you're going to want to do is go into um, upload images and you can either upload your image from your computer that you have saved or I'm just going to take one that I already have in here and this is a project I was working on for my family for Christmas. Um, so you can see here this is my design that I'm going to have. Um, I'm actually going to put this, be putting this on a block, glass block, um, and I will be doing a tutorial on that, which is kind of, I don't know, I think it's going to be kind of cool to give as a Christmas gift. So anyways, as you can see here, when you click go to cut out your image, <clears throat> it's going to kind of cut them out, you know, kind of goofy. This is how it looks if it's not all attached correctly um, and then it's going to want you to line it up yourself which is a pain in the butt and it's a lot of work so it's a lot easier if you take all the colors and attach them all together so what I'm going to do is highlight oh, actually first highlight all of them select all and then you're going to ungroup them all so they're going to be in separate categories as you can see here so you can individually click them. So first what I'm going to do is attach all of the black lettering and designs together. So I'm going to want to click shift and click every black that I want to attach here. And for some reason, I'm not sure if it's like this on all computers, but my computer keeps wanting to scroll up after each one I click. I'm almost done here. Actually, that was the last one. Okay. <clears throat> so then I'm going to want to go over here and click Attach. And that's going to attach them all into one set. So I want to do the same thing for the gold lettering. And this is also nice because it's going to bring it to, onto two different mats so you don't have to worry about cutting out on the same mat um, and layering two pieces of paper. And just about done. Okay, so then I'm going to want to click attach again. And now it has it separated as you can see here. Um, one attach set right here, which is the, all the black lettering. And then the gold is all in one attached as well. So now I can go over here and click go. And it redid the whole image, which is nice. Um, the black lettering, it looks perfect how it does in the other one. And it actually put the gold on a different mat, which is nice because you can you can first start by layering, layering the color you want on your first mat. And if you have two mats, you can um, use, a, use a different mat. Or you can even use the same mat after you tear the first vinyl out. Um, it's telling me I have an error because I don't have my computer connected to my Cricut machine right now. But anyways, so this is lined up perfectly. Um... As you can see, like, um, the true love was born in a stable, how the wording is right here. It's going to line up directly under here, just like it did in the other picture. And then you just want to click go, and it'll first start by um, <clears throat> cutting this one out. And then it, um, you can load on your next mat, and it will cut this one out, and you can layer them perfectly without needing to navigate things over 